Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Reignited Trilogy! With me, Matt, we'll be now going to do Fracture Hills. The next level on our step to completing Autumn Plains. I'm still not sure how to get the orbs in the last DMs you can find around Autumn Plains, but I'm sure we'll get something. I can help with that later. For now though, we have another small cutscene to get through. I think this one is in Laura's homeworld, if it's the one with the fawns and satyrs. Well, I'm not sure. I don't remember all these levels, but, uh... Fracture Hills just sounds like something that would come to my head regarding that. And it is. <laughs> well, I suppose they're goats, so they probably are not... They're probably not in Laura's uh, home world. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Uh, they are fawns, so uh, I suppose they could be. This could be where Laura is from. Who knows? Okay, now let's just go and get all. Oh! That's right, there's living bushes here. And also trees that fly out, that shoot out bees at you. Yeah, we have a few gems to get through first. Okay, we need to also rescue these guys. Backpipes, of course. Yeah, so we need to use the Thank you for oh. releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Yes, yeah, so the force of the satyrs are just Scottish. That is very, very interesting. I did not expect it to be Scottish, but I like it. And apparently, backpipes are magical. Who knew? I certainly didn't. So we need, we may need to remember to get all the gems, of course. Why is it lagging in here? That's weird. Okay, so we have to get over here then. So let's just get the basic level done first, and we'll do all the extra stuff after. Basically, free the temple. And get all the treasure we can, of, obviously, that we run into. Good, got this bush. And I'd rather not like to get stung by bees today, please. I'm not a fan of bees, in all honesty. Like, I know bees are important and everything, but I don't like being stung. It's a very uncomfortable experience. Get two more satyrs and we should be done here. Intriguing enemy types they decide to have here. Plus, you can burn out all the vegetation. Did I miss any gems here? That doesn't look like it. Oh, the pig stands too when uh, they play the bagpipes. Okay, that's intriguing. It's great to be free. Now there's only one Seder left to rescue. The pig is tap dancing! Oh my god. That's so silly. I like it though. 
This world is very Celtic. That's for sure. Check if there's any GMs hiding back here. Never know. Doesn't look like it. Let's just get all the uh, gems. Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Probably very hard. So you need to find a way to break down the door. I have an idea. Mostly due to that one down there. That should free the temple. Cap Blowy. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills. You ought to explore the temple. Yes, we need to get into the temple first. Ah, here's Hunter, okay. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. Yeah, I can tell. Turned your feet into stone. Okay, so we need to obviously get all the gems here, and we need to find an alchemist too. There he is, actually. Let me just get all the gems around his abode. Ah, yeah, he was hiding gems behind his abode. Cheeky. Think I would ever find them that way. Been experimenting with a new potion. I'd like to try it out, but the earth shapers have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Great! Just keep those earth shapers away from me, and I'll take this potion to Hunter. Yeah, that sounds fair. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. God damn it. Uh, it's just finding the right earth shapers to take down first. You really have to be very careful here. I wish they would be stunned a little bit more. Because that is a very contrived way you're going. Why are you going that way? Ooh. There we go, that's the first one. Feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? Oh, we still have one more of these to do, I think. Come back and meet me here when you've learned how to head bash, and we can kick some Earth Shaper butt together. Ah, we need to uh, backtrack to this level. Okay. So I don't actually think we can finish this level. Well, we can grab all the gems we can possibly can get, I guess. We can kill them this way. <laughs> oh, they look so sad when they uh, go out that way. That way. <laughs> Poor Earth Giants. Guess we need a boost to get in there. Keep getting him into the lava. Oh, 
That's so. Sad. That's such a sad way to die. The way they just look at you when they do, when they die that way. And let's go get the turbo pad because now I think we unlocked that. Yep. Ah, but we need to get around those guys. Got it. Okay, back we go. I really should not use the mouse much to uh, move when I'm using the uh, tur turbo charge. I should just use my uh, e pad. So let's do that again. Ah, really? I jumped too high? Are you serious? Let's get back there and do it again. Uh, uh. Damn it. Uh, well, at least we unlock some other way. Ow. Let's just get the other gems here. Am I missing anything? Now you're pointing at something, Sparks, but I'll check it out later. For now, let's uh, get back to the turbo pads. Because we have to get all the way around to actually unlock that gate. Which can actually be quite an effort. And we have to get all the way through here. Ooh. Not gonna be the easiest path. Really? I keep hitting the uh, the top. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. Thank you. Okay, so now we also need to get up to that gate. And we also need to get that one. Okay. So let's go get that uh, metal chest down there first. I think I know how to. Oh no! Ah, so close. Okay, give this another go. Get up here. Get our way around. There we go. Now I need to get up to that temple. How do I get into the temple, actually? Do I actually just use the turbo charge? Because I think I just used the turbo charge. Well, let's give it a go. Oh, god damn it! That was really bad time, like, timing on my part. I assume I can't just fly in there, can I? Oh, I can. Derp. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. 
You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> it's a flute. It's a pawn flute. At least I got all the gems, but we'll have to return here later. When we get the head smash ability, was it? <laughs> Just using magic to entrance the Earth Shapers. Uh, this is a very weird world, Avalaris. A lot of magical elements to it. Okay, now the next level we have to do is... Uh, uh, here's one. The magma cone. This is the one with the volcano, I'm pretty sure. I remember one was like where there's like a central volcano around and you basically help what's basically devils, essentially. Or fire demons or something. I'm pretty sure this is the one. It is. Okay. See, I assume this world is very fire-oriented with its uh, element, obviously. Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. Oh, I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Ah, so more fawns. This is another fawn world, okay. And more Earth Shapers. So I have a feeling that uh, fawns and earth shapers don't really get along then, really. Or earth shapers keep uh, causing issues for uh, fawns. A uh, little bit of lag here, that's annoying. And we have no way of destroying this guy. We can take out these small earth shapers. But we need some way to get rid of that guy. Ah, I, I see. The fawns were willing to, are willing to help. Yeah, that's how that, that's how that works. Okay. So a very elemental world, obviously. Very weird me mix with the basically the human noises, the groaning. But I do like uh, this tune. In the original, I really like this tune. I think this is like one of the, the levels I remember. It's probably why I was looking forward to it with the volcano and or well, the fire cone. It's not so much a volcano as it is an artificial volcano, actually. Let's see. So we just have to get around, obviously. Ah, we can get up here. That doesn't take us anywhere. Ice! Ooh, I don't remember this portion. But it's cool. Oh, it's this! I cannot do this, I need the ground pound ability. Hey Spyro, check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. Oh, it's this one, okay. I'm ready when you are. He got one. Oh, 
one. God damn it. Gotcha. Nice, I'm ahead of the hunter. It's all about being ahead. Nice. One more. Gotcha. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. I thought it was a different one. Uh, it might be the second part, or I'm thinking of some other world. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? I'm ready when you are. Yeah, I'll do this. Wait, wait. Mine. Damn. Damn, okay, he's getting a lot faster. Hunter is fast. There we go. What the what? There we go. Yeah, we're way ahead of Hunter. We should be able to do this easy. Oh no. I'm also pretty sure this is not popcorn. This is crystals. You're really good. I'm gonna have to come up with some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. Stop hawking all the orbs, Honda. Just give them over so we can actually get this done. Okay. That was a different minigame than the one I uh, remembered, so it's a different level to the one I'm thinking about. But I assume these fawn worlds is where Laura is from. That's just what I am thinking. Probably just because there's fawns. Okay, so we need to go where? There we go. Got this one. Ooh, that one had a lot of gems in it. Well, we can definitely buy whatever money backs once in the future. With ease. Let's see. Yeah, two gems. There we go. Always have to keep an eye out for them. At least the fawns are pretty good at helping. Or at least they're eager to help. There we go. Oh, we're jackhammer. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Just it's a lot more wooden jackhammer now, which really wouldn't be working, in all honesty. Hopefully, I got all the gems. Ah, oh, hello, money bags. All right, there's a lot of one-ups here. Why is there so many one-ups here? See, am I missing anything? You're just pointing to money bags. Okay. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. God damn your money bags. Always the greedy little one. 
Ah, yeah. The volcano. Oh, uh, this is something I remember. Oh, yeah. check because there's something I have to shoot somewhere and we have to be further up first because we need to shoot those bottles down oh shit oh oh that's not good need to get back to that snail and that's why there were so many uh, one-ups I think Need to keep an eye up up there. Guess they come through here. And there we go. So we need to climb this way. Oh yeah, I remember this part. This one takes a little bit to do. Oh, we could just jump like this, actually. And there we go, closed. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Party animals. Okay, let me go. Hey, Spyro. You're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. Yes, yeah, so we need to shoot down lava monsters. Yeah, okay. And I believe that's why we need these. At least they don't do any damage to you. <coughs> don't do any damage to you. Oh my god, that was... I had a dry throat just to... Give me to be charge out flying. It's a very fun design for those lava monsters and all this thing. Oop, there we go. Get more of these. So we can only have one loaded up at a time. Oh no, that's what I meant. It means to charge. Ow! Guys are mean. Let's get up and get more flying first. There we go. Get another one of these. There we go. Take out this guy. Three more to go. I believe one of them is down here. There we go, two more. There we go, we got all the gems, that's the start. Where's the last two? That's one. 
And I think I saw in the corner of my eye the other one. I think I know where he is. Just need to get up here. And we need to fly up. Turn around. There he is. Thanks, Spyro. You saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. Huh, okay. Did I complete this level holy? I did. Nice. Oh, sorry. You're completely done with this place then. Well, that's a little macabre in all honesty. These guys are not really the best. A lot of them end up dying, I think. Not the best at all. Okay, now when we return, we'll have another level to do. Right in there. And that's the one I think is the other Middle Eastern themed level. Shady Oasis. But I'll see you then. For now, bye-bye.